Hi, this fairly short post is about resilience. Uh, I'd like to talk very briefly about why uh, resilience is really important. And the first thing I'd like to do is talk about exactly what resilience is. Okay, resilience is the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. It's, um, in a word, a person's toughness. And we all have difficulties in life. Life would not be so interesting if we didn't have all those difficulties. So let's not worry about the fact that there will be difficulties along the path of life, because for sure there will be. And nobody has a life that has no difficulties in it. Now for young people, which primarily is where I'm coming from as an educator, resilience is something that is very rarely tested enough. You don't know whether you have resilience because for young people, and I'm kind of talking, you know, early teens to late teens, in the UK we would basically refer to this as the, the secondary school years. The problem for a person to develop resilience is that most of the time when something goes wrong, you don't have to respond. You don't have to dig deep and come up with a way of coping with the negativity of, of whatever the situation is because your parents will step in and solve the problem for you, your teachers will solve the problem for you, if you're in a school that has a house system maybe your housemaster will do that. Basically there are people around you who will solve all your problems for you. And this is not always a good way of living your life, to have other people solving your problems for you. You have to try and dig deep and solve them yourself. You can take advice from anybody you want, listen to your parents, which is always really important, but try to do things yourself to develop a way, a strategy of dealing with negativity. But I think the issue of resilience is important for absolutely everybody, no matter how old you are or how young you are. Okay, a couple of methods that can help you with resilience. You need to prioritise relationships. You need to be careful about who you share your inner thoughts with. Because sometimes a friend that you have at the moment will not necessarily be a friend in two or three months time. And then you've created a really difficult situation for yourself, which is quite difficult to get out of. At least you will think that. Um, groups are good. There have been plenty of times in my life where I felt that I can't cope with the situation I'm in and the person that's helped me to get through that is the person that is now my wife. So having the right people around you that understand you, that can support you is a good thing. Resilience doesn't have to be something and shouldn't be something where you function on your own in trying to deal with difficult situations. For students, very often towards the end of their time at school, it will be things like my exam results did not go as well as I wanted them to go and what the heck am I going to do now? My life is now about to fall apart because I haven't got the grades that allow me to get to the university that I thought I wanted to go to. Well, when those things happen, what you need to remember is that uh, you are not a bunch of numbers or letters on a piece of paper. You are far more than that. If the plan that you have, your path, does not quite come off, it's not a big deal. You switch plans. You take a different path. It might be that the university that you wanted to study a particular subject at, you can't get there because the grades didn't turn out to be big enough. Okay, that can happen. Go to a different university. There is a wide variety of universities with a wide variety of requirements to do a particular course. Don't think that just because your, your golden path was not followed that now all of a sudden my life is like hopeless. There's, there's nothing I can do now. It's all going to fall apart. One of the really nice things about life is that it has these uncertainties and we never quite know what's going to happen. The most boring of lives would be the ones where I could write down now exactly what I want to happen for the rest of my life until I die and it just follows that path. There would be no interesting uncertainties to deal with. You need to take care of your body. You need to eat well, sleep well, uh, make sure that you try to get rest, not just sleep, but you know, you take a break, that kind of thing. Uh, there's a thing about having a healthy life. Typically what people in the past have said is that to have a healthy life, you need a healthy diet. 
you need exercise and you need sleep. Well, it turns out that actually most of the recent studies suggest that actually you can have a, a, a relatively healthy life and not have an amazingly healthy diet. Lots and lots of people have a healthy life and they don't do much exercise at all. The one thing you cannot get away from is the sleep issue. As time has gone on, we have found more and more and more and more evidence that sleep is crucial. You should be getting, and the number now is slightly subjective, you should be getting eight hours of sleep, minimum, a night. So uh, work on that principle and try and make sure that you don't stay up late until like, you know, the early hours of the morning working or watching YouTube videos of cats because that's just not good for your body. You need to make sure you get some, uh, some sleep. Uh, you need to try and avoid things that you think are negative. If you know that a situation always creates stress for you because it's just awful and it's always negative, but you just keep going back to it. Some people can be like that then avoid it because it's just not great for you. You need to be proactive about your life. And, and when negativity hits you, do not freak out and do not collapse. Just make sure that you stop, you think for a moment. There's that thing about count to 10 before you open your mouth and say something. It just gives you a chance to calm down. If something happens in a day, and it's just so, so negative as far as you're concerned, I'm gonna fire off an email or I'm gonna send a tweet. Relax, do it tomorrow. Sleep on it is the phrase that we use. You will find that your perspective changes when you've had a chance to calm down and think about it. Listen to your parents, take their advice and think about what you wanna do. Talk to your teachers. Talk to anybody that you feel you have confidence in. Do not overblow things and become irrational and make something far more important than it actually has to be. So, resilience. Please think about it. Do not freak out about life. Take it as it comes. And every time that negativity happens, every time the negative moment in your life hits you, take a breath, relax, think about it, take advice. And if you can, try and turn a negative into a positive. And that's what resilience is all about. And you will never know how good you are at it until you've experienced it and you've tried it. So right at the beginning, as I said, do not get somebody else to try and solve your problems for you. Take advice, do it yourself and be good and be healthy.